Researchers at Tel Aviv University have discovered a non-oxygen breathing animal. The researchers led by Professor Dorothy Houchon of the School of, School of Zoology at Tel Aviv University's Faculty of Life Sciences and Steinhardt Museum of Natural History published a study on the finding. She joins me now in studio to explain. Thank you, Professor Houchon, for being with us to understand more about this creature, the likes of which we've never seen before. Uh, there have been claimed that some animals are not breathing. What is new in our story is that we could check it with the DNA. So all our data are based on DNA results and genomic results. And previous uh, claims were based on animals that were from the bottom of the Mediterranean Sea and they could not get DNA from these samples. Yeah, well, they are parasites, so they are not very uh, sexy animals. <laughs> So what do they do? What do they behave like in nature? What is their role? So they don't really have a role, they just infect the fish. And they have a complex life cycle. So they have two hosts actually. So they live in a fish and in a worm. And the fish, the fish will uh, liberate spores that will infect the worm, and the worm that will liberate spores that will infect the fish, and they need both hosts to complete their life cycle. So if you have a parasite in a fish, but you put the fish in an aquarium, it will not infect other fish if there is no worm. For example. What can we learn, would you say, from studying a, a creature like this fr that we haven't studied to a great extent before? So we can see that life has a lot of diversity and evolution goes in very strange direction because usually we think of animals as complex organisms that evolve from very simple uh, um, animals to much more complicated like dinosaur or human and now we see a parasite that goes completely the, the opposite direction so it, its ancestor probably looked like a medusa and now we have an organism that lost his muscle that lost his uh, nervous system because basically it's a blob and I don't know if we can see pictures yeah we see pictures so these are the live um, cells of the parasite and basically just blobby stuff and with the things with the circles are the spores it makes and this is it this is it there is less than 10 cells and but before it has nervous system and everything so evolution can go with completely opposite direction in the same group of organisms and yet with this little bit that uh, we saw just now on screen what would be the next steps for researchers like you who are curious about life sciences what else do we want to find so out actually we study this parasite because they cause a lot of problem to aquaculture so they can whip entire fish stock not this one specifically but other like enteromyx omlei and this found in the mediterranean sea can cause a lot of problem for example to sea bream aquaculture and this is one of the main aquaculture in the mediterranean sea so to understand this parasite can maybe give us a way to find medicine against uh, this parasite because till now there is no treatment against them. I would imagine finding this finding was a surprise. Were you expecting to find? No, it was here? just by chance. I studied the evolution of the mitochondrial genome and I want to study the relationship of this parasite. So I was in a sabbatical in Oregon, Oregon State University and I asked my collaborator can they give me a few samples to sequence and then among them was this parasite that lost the ability to breathe, but this was totally uh, unexpected. And in the beginning, I actually thought this was a problem in my analysis. And it took us some time to understand this was not. <laughs> and I just want to make sure for our viewers who hear the word parasite and are concerned, should humans be concerned about this? No, this parasite caused no problem to humans. They are very unsightly, so basically no one will want to eat fish full of a goosey white stuff inside. So this is why they cause problem to aquaculture because no one can sell salmon fillet full of parasites. Uh, do you think that in the future we might find more organisms like this or is it extremely rare? No, they are very common actually. There are basically thousands of such parasites but usually we don't really care because they don't cause problem to human so in this case of this parasite is present in the muscle but some are present only in the gallbladder or under the scale and in this case we don't really look for them uh, but they are very diversified and what is funny is that we have very, if we compare them there are thousand more mixozoan than medusa and everyone know about what is a medusa and no one know about mixozoa <laughs> Well, now we do. So, Professor Rochon, thank you for joining us thank to enlighten you. us on this finding. It was very exciting. Thank you for being with us.